Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video we will talk about uh, respond to some Muslims in, the, um, in YouTube. Uh, this is a video I made about a contradiction in the Quran. It's called this video made millions of Muslims accept Islam. And by the way, feel free to copy my videos and post it wherever you like. Um, just uh, don't claim that you are the one who make it, alright? Anyway, so here we have a Muslim uh, gentleman. He is saying the following answer. So simply, just to bef before we go to his answer, uh, let us go to the to to what this video is about, so we can uh, we can get into the answer after that. In chapter 17, verse number 19, this verse saying the following, and this is the Muslim translation. As you see, it's not my own. What kept man, which means mankind, what kept man back from belief, when guidance come to them, was nothing but this. Okay, was nothing but this. Take a note. What is that thing? They said, has Allah sent a man like us to be his messenger? <clears throat> so the problem here is what? People, they are refusing to accept this messenger because he is a man. First, this is a very funny, false statement. And it's very clear that the one who made the Quran is he have a lack with intelligence. Why? The statement itself is approving many errors. Number one, they said Allah he sent to us. This is mean they acknowledge Allah already and they are believers. Therefore, they will not need a messenger. Number two, all people, all people with no exception, and I'm talking about people of the book, the Jews and the Christians, before Christ, all the messengers was a human to them as a prophet and they never said God sending us a messenger as a man and if those people believe in God and believe that he have a messenger it's mean they have messengers before and the Quran is quoting them messengers we never heard of however the Quran is saying those messengers will exist and people believe in them so again it's a fabrication it's an error it's a mistake number three let us say if Allah he knows that the problem that people do not believe is that they want someone he is a messenger but he is not a man okay why you Allah don't send them a messenger he is not a man if you know that this is the problem, it's mean those people, they are good, but they have a problem with the trust. They don't want to trust a man because he might be a false man. So why you don't give them what they want? Allah already, he knows. Already he understands the problem, but yet Allah is a stubborn. He don't want to send them what will make them really believe. Because as you see, he is the one saying, what stopped them from believing, accepting guidance, was nothing but this. So this is the only problem, <clears throat> which by the way is a contradiction for many other verses in the Quran. Many other verses. So this one alone is a proof of uh, Quran to be false. However, we go to the second verse. The second verse is saying, is saying the following. Let us see. If we go to this verse here, chapter 17, verse number 95, which is simply just the verse before it, I mean after it, all right? This is the one we talk about is 94. I'm just showing you in Arabic for those who speak Arabic. And the verse after it is 95. This verse saying the following. So this is a verse respond to the first verse we just read. It's saying the following. You see, this is the verse we were reading. So, say, if there were settled on earth angels walking about in peace and quiet, we should certainly have sent them down from the heaven an angel for a messenger. All right, thank you. So, if there was in earth angels li living there then Allah he will send if there is an angels Allah will send to the angels a messenger he is an angel 
All right, sound good. So, the reason Allah is not sending you angels because you are not an angel. If there was angels living in this earth, then the messengers will be angels. Angel for a messenger. So the, this this uh, this uh, this angel, his job is what is a messenger. The funny, isn't it? All the angels of Allah He sent, they were messengers anyway. Like what was Jibril, the messenger to Muhammad, or he was a delivery boy? So as long as Allah is saying that he will never send a messenger, he is an angel, to someone is not an angel, this is mean all of Islam is a fabrication because Muhammad is not an angel. Because Allah He said clearly, we will not send you any messenger to human. He is not a human. Now, just to show you, I'm not making things up. We go to the interpretation, which Muslims explain in a better way, because they are the Muslims, right? However, take my advice. Muslims are the last one to know. You know, Muslims is the same. With, with, I'm not trying to insult Muslims. Don't be upset. But Muslim is the same as a man, his wife is a cheating on him. He is the last one to know. Because they are inside the box, they didn't see. Let me show you what the interpretation of this verse is saying. Remember, this is chapter 17, and we are talking about verse number 94 and 95. This is the website of the Kingdom of Jordan, owned by the King of Jordan himself, all right, which is supposedly he claimed to be from the family of Muhammad, as you see here. Then, this is a chapter 17, verse number 95, and this is Ibn Abbas, one of the biggest, biggest, biggest fat scholars in Islam. He says, O oh, say, O oh Muhammad, to the people of Mecca, if there were an earth angel walking secure, all right, let us make a note. So, if there were an angel walking earth secure, we had sent down for them from heaven and angels as messengers thank you very much so number one if there was an angel on earth we will send angels to the angels for we sent and take a note here please take a note for we send angel messengers only to angels and human messengers to humans that is a very bad contradiction because the, the one who delivered the whole Quran, Muhammad never spoke to his God, Muhammad never met his God, never, Muhammad never heard, even heard the voice of his God. And I challenged the Muslim to show me one statement in their books ever saying that Muhammad, he spoke to his God. All, all what they have is a hadith saying that Muhammad, he went to seven heaven and Allah, he gave him 50 prayer. How? We don't know. How he gave it to him? We don't know. He didn't say he spoke, he didn't see her, he heard, he didn't say anything. Which as was a dream anyway. But Muslims, they say it was real. However, according to the Muslims, all the Quran, all the Quran, not even one letter delivered to Muhammad directly from Allah. It was delivered to him by the angel, his name is Jibreel. Even the name is wrong, because Gabriel is not Jibreel. However, uh, if you notice with me here, it says angels only to angels and the human only to human. You see the letter that it says here only, only. Now we will go to the answer for for the the, the Muslim in the video, so we can see what he was trying to say. Now you will get better idea what we are talking about. He's saying, uh, you could see, it is as follows. Messengers could be an, uh, angels or prophets. Okay, so now we have two possibility for messengers, either angels or prophets. All right, prophet can only be human. Uh, okay, never angels. All right, since prophets are sent to human on earth, Prophet only can be human, not angels. 
The Holy Quran never says that God will never send an angel to human. No, he did. He just said that. Because you need to remember that before Allah he sent, before you became a messenger, at that point you were a human. Let me make it more simple. When you say sins, prophets are sent to human on earth. Prophet only can be human, not angels. The Holy Quran never said God never sent angels to human. So angels can visit a human, but not as a prophet. Thank you very much for saying that. You see, the Muslims, uh, they have a problem because they are Muslims. I never saw a Muslim he have a clear mind and intelligence. With my respect to Mr. Nasser here in the in the in the statement, I'm not trying to insult you, Mr. Nasser, but I want to show you that you do not think deep. You just said what is proving me right. Angels can visit a human, but not as a prophet. All right, which means the angels are not prophet. And God will never send an angel to a human who is not a prophet. So Allah will send the angel only to a human who they are going to be a prophet. So angel can visit a human, but not not as a prophet. However, angels, no one cannot ask God, I think he mean ask, to send angels as a prophet. Let us make it clear. Now he's saying that angels cannot be prophets. Okay. And we are not saying actually that angels are prophet. However, the Quran says clearly that he sent angels to angels, a human to human. He did not say, I will send angels to prophet. He said, angels will be sent to angels, a human will be sent to human. Now, if you want to say to me as a prophet, huh? angel as a prophet, well, that's very funny. Why angel would be a prophet anyway, if he lived with God? Prophet is for people who they are misguided. Angels are misguided. Same time, when he said this, he just gave it the shot, the final shot to make it dead. God will never send an angel to human, which means God will send angel for a prophet. This is what he's trying to say. But he will never send an angel for, a, for an individual. He is not a prophet. Take notes. If this is true, it means the Quran again have a contradiction, and let me show you why. All of us, we know the story of Maryam in the Quran, which is Mary, supposedly. This is a chapter 19, all right? This is a chapter uh, uh, 19, verse number 7, and this verse speak about Zechariah. Supposedly, Zechariah is the father of the prophet Yahya. For Christians, he is John the Baptist. So if you go to the translation, you will see that Allah he is sending an angel to Zechariah telling him that we have a good news for you. We have a good news for you. Now the Muslim they might say, well, it doesn't say they're an angel. No problem. Forget about Zechariah because they might play games with it, all right? We go down, we will see the story of Mary. Mary, where the angels came to her, and this is again chapter 19. You can read from verse number 16, etc. And then you will see in here, uh, an angel came to Mary, and he said to her, here we go, we sent to her our angel, and he appeared to her as a perfect man. So he just said, Allah will send angels as messengers for prophets, but not to mankind. Well, is Mary a prophet? Is Zechariah a prophet? What are you talking about? Here we go. Allah sending a messenger. He is an angel to a woman. She is not even close to be a prophet. According to Islam, women are not even clean. They are dirty. So again, this is a very clear contradiction. Thank you for watching and God bless.